Hello, and welcome. I haven't done one of these in a while. Got busy playing other things. Why well, am I on a shuttlecraft? Because we are doing one of the worst missions in the game. I cannot bring myself to do this or skip it. The vault. So this is where the game starts shedding some light on the origins of the 2009 J.J. Abrams movie. Soon to be retconned by Picard in a few weeks. Uh, the crew finds itself in a tight situation. We're ordered to investigate an energy surge in the band around the starbase. So I'm going to hail the mission, and I think I've flown here already so that it can be easily gotten. We do this on a shuttlecraft, and it sucks. It's a lot better if you do it in a runabout with um, regular starship gear, because you can put anything on a shuttlecraft. But I'm doing just the free-to-play thing, so this is the Discovery shuttlecraft I got. Show it off to you with the default um, stuff. So this is the USS Margaret, the name it gave me, Federation shuttlecraft. It's all crappy shuttle crap gear. Okay, so... Hail. The Romulans had a base, known as the Vault, that they used for research into Borg technology. This facility was abandoned in the chaos after the destruction of the Romulan homeworld, but intelligence suggests that the work there was far enough along that it was used to retrofit Nero's ship before it disappeared along with Ambassador Spock's vessel in the Hobus system. Long-range sensors have detected energy spikes in the Halcona system, and Starfleet intelligence believes that someone is bringing the vault back online. We need to know who, and more importantly, we need to know if there is still Borg technology or restricted weaponry on that base. I need you to proceed immediately to the Hakona system and investigate the vault. Engage if you must, but I would prefer if you could gather the information we need without conflict. I have new missions for you. Now where's the center? But, oh man. I was really hoping to skip this part. I don't know why I have to come here and mow it in a shuttlecraft, but eh, whatever. That's waste a huge amount of time, just to tell me that I need to get a shuttlecraft, which I'm already in. Yeah, I know that. So I'll talk to this DeSoto guy, who's going to give me something I'm already in. Is he Soto? I don't know. Ah, oh, there we are. Is it him? Nope. That's not today. There we are. In order to avoid drawing too much attention, you need to fly under the radar, so to speak. Admiral Tanay has authorized the requisition of a shuttlecraft for you. You can fulfill the requisition in the shipyard. Once you're ready, take the shuttlecraft out to the Hakona system. If you have a runabout fighter or other such craft available, feel free to use it, but do not approach the system in a starship. We want to avoid the notice of whoever's in the vault. A shuttle will also be able to dock with the vault and explore the interior. Okay. Any questions? What? Operation. Oh, that mythical boogeyman organization? No, this is a standard Starfleet operation at the behest of Admiral Tanay and supported by Starfleet intelligence. In case you were wondering, that means that you should observe all regulations and don't start a war. That's right, kids. Section 31 officially doesn't exist and nobody's ever heard of it. 
its usage in Star Trek Discovery is essentially if the CIA, CIA stopped existing today and then in 2160 people thought it never existed. <laughs> Any questions? Very well. Remember, you must use a shuttlecraft, runabout, fighter, or similar small operations craft to undertake this mission. We need on-site intel from the interior of the vault. Starfleet will not clear you to enter the Hakona system otherwise. Good luck. Pick up a ship air to his base and get a shuttlecraft. Uh, or, your options are you can get a runabout for entry credits. I have one that I acquired a couple years ago from a giveaway. Um, help log in the game periodically, because uh, they do occasionally give uh, free sh stuff occasionally, particularly the anniversary week. Always log in your anniversary week. Uh, also get Delta Flyer from the Zen Store, so shuttle, I don't have that. Let's... Go there... I'm gonna fight in this one. I will mention in the comments uh, what part timestamp to skip ahead and get all this stuff out of the way with. This part is the. Wow, I was not expecting that. Transport back to Earth. That's uh, that's a <laughs> that has never happened before. <laughs> wow! I teleported across the quadrant. Oh my, that is funny. Okay, so this bad boy. Wonder if. It'll skip me if I come back here. Nope, oh, okay. So, I'm gonna have to take the long way around. Fantastic. <laughs> I forgot about the first part where I had to go to Starbase Sierra and started this by flying out. To kind of begin with, progress vault. Here we are. Oh, it's sending me back to Starbase Sierra. Fantastic. I think 
the time I'm done here, I'm going to get quite the shuttlecraft collection. You know what, I think I may leave this in for all its horrible glory. Put in some uh, rough timestamps for where to uh, jump to in the videos. Because this mission is terrible. It's one of the least popular in the game, and it should be preserved Why? Right down to the glitch, it sent me back to Earth. Okay, round two with feeling. Let's go to the shuttle information officer in the shipyard and hope it gets teleported back to Earth. There we are. Okay. Now I can go to Hakona system. But on the plus side, I got a TLS shuttle. I'm not using it, but it's nice to have it. Nope. Oh, and let's get out of here. Okay. Shouldn't this bad boy don't have transwarp. Oh, it's gonna be about 15 minutes into the video before I actually start this thing. Feel free to skip ahead in the video. In the meantime, I suppose I can pass the time by regaling Klingon fun facts. Klingons do not laugh. You are without honor. Isn't it funny how pretty much anybody Worf doesn't like is without honor? I am not a merry man. That's a funny guy, that microbrain. Almost there. And we can see what uh, the USS Margaret has in store for her.
There it is. There she is. The vault. Coming up hot. Finally get the show on the road. You know what? I'm going to change something here. Skills, stations, small craft, security, what do I want? Oh wait, no, that's not what I'm after. Uh, Margaret, there we are. Ah, small craft, there we are. Sure. That works. More than 30 years, access system was restricted to ships with Devossal security clearance. So the structures have been lifted to structure around homeworld reported. 47 vessels have been lost since 2380. Captain Secretary of Respect remain on tactical alert. So things keep getting blown up. In this mysterious system that has nothing in it whatsoever, nothing to worry about. Obviously, this station isn't as abandoned as Intel suspected. Sensors are reading several Riemann ships in the area, and that's just the ones that we can spot. That station is immense! It must have taken an incredible amount of manpower and technology to build it. It's almost the size of a small moon. Sensors are reading a sophisticated tachyon detection network, as well as several patrolling vessels. For an abandoned station, this facility certainly has a lot of activity. My people are experts at stealth technology. If we want to approach unseen, we must avoid confrontation and find a way to evade or jam their sensor grid. We must assume that if we engage the ships here, they'll notify whoever is left on the station, and it may become difficult to find an entry point. away from these guys. Got some hydrazine gas on here. Scanning in progress. Ah, there we are. This asteroid is unusually large, and it's clearly been mined. It was probably used for raw construction materials, like most of the debris here. This particular asteroid contains pergium, titanium, and uranium. It was probably tractored from a nearby system and brought here to construct hull components and power systems. We could probably cut a piece from the asteroid with our weapons for further analysis. Well, I'll let's bring the boogeyman. Duranium. With a little bit of radiation, it'll cause duranium shadows on scanners, which would look like a weapon suite. If the Tall Shi'ar set up their sensor net appropriately, their scanners will exclude this kind of stellar debris. If we give the fragment Ooh. a nudge with our tractor beam and follow along behind it, we could slip through the sensor grid. I think we can. Follow that rock.
Oh, that rock, okay. Approaching the Tachyon grid perimeter. If we're detected by it, that will definitely alert the Remans. And I'm in, I think. So that were three ways to get to the station. That was one of them. I'm not going to go back and do the other two. It's like they're kind of geared towards different um, careers. That was the engineering. There's derelict ship, which I assume is tactical, and subspace booster, which I assume is science. I could be wrong. I'm probably wrong. But I like science. And now I'm going to enter the station. Station! And I just dated myself with that. That's okay. Whoa. Picking up some unusual energy readings. We'll need to explore the accessible interior areas and see what we can find. Looks like there's another access conduit across from us. We'll have to think three-dimensionally in here. Sensor readings are also picking up a few scattered life signs. So I have to think three-dimensionally. So what you're saying is that Khan, Nuni, and Singh would get lost as hell in here and not be able to finish this mission. I'm literally better than Khan. Thank you. I appreciate it. That's quite a compliment. Carter Montalban was a beautiful man. are a massive set of interior bulkhead doors. They're segmenting the different parts of the base. Possibly a safety measure in case something went wrong in one of the central areas. Access appears to be controlled by use of security keys. We can disable it if we can find a code block that matches part of a security key. This defense turret was hooked into part of the security network. The There's security a security code on its subsystem. Code block, code block 6751 key. Key in the unfortunate. The security key is on a rotation. Each code block matches a piece of one key. Key in the appropriate code when the ro Okay. Let's go for another one. Oh my god, tapped up here. I'm reading life signs in some of these living quarters. Interesting. Oh, I don't want to do this thing. Interfaces look like much, no harm, but I just want to talk. No harm, Starfleet, when you praise Ambassador Spock, but no harm when he's into rebellion among our people. Captain Picard, but no harm when he killed Chins on the strongest people our leader had seen a century. Romans are a proud and passionate people. Between great powers to the Romulans, the Federation conflict, and the are both strong and stubborn, but there's room in our pride to help one another as well. I apologize, an outburst is unbecoming of me. You should not be your staff to tell me to run quickly. No, the other parts of the station I how to access them. Well, as far as I know, the station was a research facility for various illicit technologies. I'm not sure what kind of secrets the military kept here. Some of us have scavenged up useful components or even weapons. The station has its own power supply. 
but although many areas are dangerous or secured against intruders or under control of Romulus Reasons now. Lehar, one of the other survivors here, said he saw some kind of autonomous cybernetic technology closer to the station core. I don't know what that would be. He said it looked dangerous. Shavra, a doctor, said this area was still safe for habitation, but further, one of the pylons being dangerous amounts of radiation. Reach deeper in the station, you need to bypass the containment field to use the cycling time security checks. You find a key code so you can circuit and execute the check. I have a personal avoid code to live up the circuit check to the code. The elements watch over us all. Jolan True. No, you're not gonna. Um, she's not gonna come with me. She's gonna call the clerk to take us to question the government because we all suspect of spies. I'll take her away in the universe. And they play as a Drew. Jolan True Commander. Jolan True. I'll probably stick a Defiant Glass ship in here. The security key is on a rotate. That's it. Well done. All right. Gain access now. Oh, yeah, Defiant might not be able to fit through those doors. of the station. Whoa, 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 whoa. Some of these conduits are damaged. Microgravity storage crates. Mostly construction supplies. No weapons or unusual energy signatures. Oops. No, 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 no. Ah, yeah, go. Ah, yeah, go. That's right. Okay, what are we doing here? Deeper in the vault. Oh, I think I have to go up here and scan this. Above us, that's a Borg sphere. The Tall Shiar must have used this base as a storage facility and research area for Borg technology. Well, that ain't cool. Orc spears are bad news bears. Bad news bears, yes they are. Let's go up and scan it. Scanning in progress. The Borg sphere is dormant, like it's been put to sleep. It's not the source of the strange readings that long range scans detected. Looks like the sphere's hooked into part of the local systems network. We should be able to exit through the other doors now. Probably a safety precaution to keep them locked. Okay.
Ja, det är Just nothing there. Quiet in this area. Too quiet. It's a trap! Or when Admiral Akbar opens up his new chain of uh, sandwich restaurants. It's a wrap! Oh boy, Tholeron reactor. Those are bad news bears. Looking at a facility used to build Thaleron weapons. If the Remans have infiltrated this base, they may be trying to secure those weapons. The so Thaleron weapons were introduced in Star Trek Nemesis, yeah, yeah, I know, as extremely illegal. And because they're really dangerous, I can't remember the whole story. Ah, so our intruder finally arrives at the heart of the matter. Have you seen all that you came to see, little spy? Does it really matter? Call me Obasek, if a name is that important to you. What are you doing here? That should be obvious. I intend to make use of this station to further my agenda. Your presence, however, is a bit more... curious. I expect that you are operating under the Shroud of Empress Sela, whether you realize it or not. I don't think either of us is supposed to be here, I suspect. Never rely on the noble intentions of spies and thieves, Captain. And you and I are either one or the other. I appreciate your level-headedness in an unfortunate situation. As you must have surmised, though, I have already located the Thaleron weapons that I need. One of my ships has completed transporting them, and soon we shall make our first strike against the Romulans in our war for liberation. Sadly, we cannot trust any outside powers to ally with us. Our freedom must be won by our own hands. Federation has always promoted freedom. While I cannot condone the use of Thaleron weapons, I can emphasize with your plight. Looks like those Romulans need some freedom. I think we found some oil on their planet. Your honesty under pressure is refreshing. Lesser beings would be scheming to learn my plans or begging for mercy. Your intellect and discretion do you credit. I condone the use of Thaleron weapons despite your justification. Frankly, I'm astonished by your commitment to principle. I had a very low opinion of Starfleet officers. Sadly, this means that you are also a determined enemy, and a dangerous one. I will allow you to explore the station at your leisure, but I cannot allow you to leave. I'm sure you understand my position. Perhaps at some future time, when the Riemann people are free, I will be able to free oh, you as well. I must warn you that if you attempt to leave, my warship will have no choice but to destroy your craft. Oh, Farewell. Oh, oh Obisek, you can tank her soul blowhard. Shadow notes. Give it to me, baby. Uh huh, uh huh. Dual cannon. I have no idea what I'm gonna do with this, but that's okay. I just want free stuff. Okay. Let's blow some shit up. Oop. Stuff up. You didn't hear that. No one heard that.
us, so no point in picking them up. not going to be fun. Wait, if he can get in here, why can't I get my Defiant in here? Fight him if I don't have to. He can't fit through here. Almost made it. It is possible to destroy that warper, but I'm not going to because it takes too long. Why people hate this mission because this part is a pain in the ass. Ugh, stop flying into the door. Okay. Are 
out. Warning, ship is under attack. I didn't take anything else here. It's not that mug I warbird. That was the worst part of the mission. Warning, I think. Ship is under attack. Oh. It's still shooting at me. Oh, he's following me in here. How fantastic. 13 seconds. So, how was he able to get that thing there? I can't put a starship in. What did they do to you? We must stop Obasek's ship. They cannot be allowed to possess Thaleron weapons. We can use the subspace booster satellite outside the station to send a message to Starfleet as soon as we're clear of the interior. But Obasek's warship will almost certainly attack us when we do. We'll have to survive long enough for reinforcements to arrive. Or, stop wearing this one, just let them go. Makes a lot more sense. We can track it down later. Reinforcements have arrived and are just past that nebula. We don't have much time. We need to meet with our allies and stop that ship. We are now in the micro nebula. Sure, I can do that. Load up a few times, which means I can put too close to the derivative class. Thaleron weapons carried aboard the ship. We're going to leave the system under high warp to draw off any reinforcements that might come looking. Suggest you return to Federation space. Thank y'all. Thank you very much. Let's get the AT double hockey sticks out of this place. Wasn't so bad. Oh, we gotta fly all the way back to Sierra. So that's basically the mission's over at this point. Just gotta fly on back. So that was the vault. Uh, for the first shuttle oriented mission you get in this game. 
notorious for being not very much fun to play. That was one of my more successful runs through in this mission, so I didn't mind it that much. Normally I get stuck in one of those big battle cruiser areas. It's a lot easier if you just run past them. Uh, past them. So I hope you enjoyed that. Because I'm glad that's over with. I can get back to the big ships that have transwarp on them so I can get rid of all this nagging travel time. So that's basically it, unless you really want to see the end um, scroll for the mission credits that badly. I'm still going to throw it on here. Uh, thank you for joining me. I will try to do these more frequently. I took a big uh, break on this because, I don't know. <sighs> Wasn't feeling it, I guess. Uh, yeah. Shuttlecraft's very pretty. So the last part of the mission is pretty simple. I just got to fly back to Starbase 39 and talk to DeSoto. And then that is it. I can get back in my regular ship and do things the regular way. <coughs> Pardon me. I'm not redoing that to edit out a sneeze. Mostly, I just like my videos to be live and off the cuff and not waste five hours doing a 10 minute video over and over and over again. I don't really hear my charming personality and how funny and unprofessional my videos are. Really? Crickets? Oh, you're not. Okay, that's fine. It goes so slow, it helped I got out and pushed. Oh, there we are. Wait, no, wrong Sierra. Wrong Sierra. Enter the Sierra system. Perfect. <laughs> USS Bashir. But he's not dead yet. But really, we all know he's dead inside. Beam down to station. Admiral's office upstairs. Here we are at DeSoto. I've taken a preliminary look at your logs, and it seems that things went a bit unexpectedly. I have a feeling this isn't the last time we'll be seeing the vault. The Riemann commander you encountered is definitely a major player in the disintegration of the Romulan Star Empire. I'm going to send the information you gathered about him over to an old colleague of mine, Dr. Maximilian Peters, for analysis. If this Riemann is a leader in their separatist movement, we'll have to deal with him again. And hopefully, Dr. Peters can work up a psychological profile for him, and a sociological analysis of the separatists. Ooh. So, Starfleet fun facts. Lieutenant Commander Kyle DeSoto is the son of Captain Robert DeSoto, which some of you may remember as being Captain... That Commander Riker's first captain before when he was first officer of the hood before Riker joined up with with Captain Picard in TNG so a little trivia there 
Like as soon as look connected to the game, you see a name sounds familiar, look it up and go, ooh, it is. Our next step will be to decode the signal intelligence and go through any remnants left from the ship that was destroyed near the vault. Now that we know that the Remans were hoping to use Thaleron weapons, we need to figure out their target location. Right now, Starfleet knows far too little about a civil war in the making, but it'll take time to sift through all of the data. Keep in touch. Starfleet will notify you when we have a lead. Oh. Excellent. Excellent work. We need to learn more about the conflict between Obasek and the Romulans. Sela's forces may indeed be hounding the Remans, but the use of Thaleron weapons is unacceptable. Not even the Klingons or the Breen will stoop to such barbarism. Well, Klingons are some honor. Starfleet Intelligence will be working to decode the list of possible targets you acquired from the base's databanks. The next step may be to investigate these sites and find out why the Remans want to destroy them. I have no wishes. Congratulations, Commander. Starfleet Intelligence has decoded. And that, as you say, is that. So thank you if if you made it all the way through. I will be shocked if anybody did, but hey, these things are just about a playthrough here, so just see where it goes through the mission and yeah. That's the fun of it. I'll catch you guys later. I will be posting another one later. I've put a little too little development on this character, so it's time. To plow through some missions. I think it's double XP weekend. So if this guy gets up to 65, I'm just gonna still do, do missions and keep on fitting them out. So have a good time. I'll see you out there somewhere. <laughs>